welcome to the fail race fail to make a grid on GTA 5 again session where we are doing a race around a stunt track and thinking of new and interesting ways to park cars on a start line it's safe to say it's not worked you know what? I'm gonna join in this one I'm gonna join up there we'll, we'll park up here I've still got my map turned off and stuff but never mind this might be uh, you know what? we'll go with team orange we'll go with team orange up here uh, there is only minor pushing of cars off of the platforms only a little bit of pushing. You know, we want Team Orange together. Let's join in. <laughs> Let's join in with the pushing, shall we? <laughs> oh, it's all gonna be... <laughs> Blakey's falling off. I think Brazen just drove off around the foot. I think we pushed Brazen off. It's race time! <laughs> it's the worst start line in history. Uh... <laughs> Actually, no, it's not the worst start line in history, but we are off and underway in this race. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're pointing the wrong way. Oh, well, and I guess Brazen gave us a hit as well. Bad intention. There's nothing you can do when you spun in front of the track. Well, I mean, we used to just go to the back of the field. We have been shuffled that way anyway. Uh, this, this particular circuit, uh, made by about 19 Wookiees. Uh, we did a quick test race around here, which I accidentally left set as a GTA race. So we ended up shooting each other more and don't really know where we're going still. Test minimal testing was done in the test race, more shooting and prox bombs. Hopefully, we'll still be able to figure it out. Uh, it is a really, really interesting, well-made track. This one it gets a little narrow. Oh, coming up to this section, it gets a little bit busy apparently through this section. Uh, yeah, the hairpin we've got to watch out for that is coming up, but we are we're far enough back. It doesn't matter. I was trying to duck underneath everybody. Missed time that one massively. You do get because this is built over. It's built like what well, just over an island? Yeah, there's little bits of island around in here, uh, but you do occasionally get the big sort of like water splash effects going on, which is uh, they never quite get through the track, but you have got to be aware of them. Oh dear, it's got a little bit busy down here. Uh, a couple of little little bit of scrapes going on. This car's actually a little bit understeery uh, in places. So it's sort of the low, high speeds, it's fine. Low speeds, it does struggle to have quite some of the turning I expect perhaps from it. Uh, we'll be side by side through here. Try not to squeeze a car into a wall. Gotta be, gotta be careful not that you're ever likely to be on that line, but on the very inside there is a big old pile of dirt, basically. Mound that will launch your car off of it if you get unlucky. Uh, we have got a big group of cars now for the lead, and it's only going to get bigger as well as we continue to fight for positions here. Oh, that was a car a little bit wide. I think that was Stinty making a small mistake. One of the white machines clipped, I think, the hay bale on the inside and has gone. Now, since he's going to be on the inside around this next corner, but that puts you on the outside for the next turn uh, through here, and we will hold on. There's some touring car lines going on on the exit there. Everybody's in the draft down towards the start-finish line. So it's not the longest start-finish straight at all here uh, for that slipstream pass. Stinty couldn't get past me in all of that. Oh, as we dive around turn one, got to be careful not to accidentally torpedo a car while trying to go for an overtake. Let's go. I don't know whether these cars can push bump draft safely or not. We've got the black car going a little bit. I think it's Liam, but I don't actually know. Oh, someone pinged the wall. That caused mayhem on the outside. I was for once in the right lane to avoid the mayhem. The mayhem occurred on the outside of me, and we were fine. I mean, it has, it's not the worst mayhem ever. Uh, curb boosting will be a little bit more minimal here. Is there going to be a car firing up the inside? I gave space thinking there might be. Because if it does get up the inside, it's going to be the long, long way around for the hairpin. Uh, we got a little nudge on the way in. Oh, <laughs> that guy almost made it work on the outside of the hairpin. I'm surprised it got the run off the corner there for that one. All right, big drafts for me. Massive, massive toe down the start finish straight. We are to the outside at turn one, though. Have already seen that wall? Oh, I'm very sorry, Ninetales. I got pushed into that one. I have a feeling Liam got pushed into me by somebody. That's just a big chain reaction uh, bumping session. Uh, and a little bit of GTA physics got the better of them uh, as well. But, oh, don't get stuck on the wall. We saw how bad the outside could be at that section. They're still side by side. I think it's Nerethson and Pega. Yeah, battling side by side for the lead. Can I get a good run? And we'll get a good run down the back straight. Stinty might get the best run of all of us. But where do you go? It's 3-1. I can't. Even if I have the best run in the world, I have nowhere to go in that one. We can sneak our car to the inside. Don't put Impega in the wall. Like, well, the Reds Stinty got away with it. The Reds did put Stinty in the wall a little bit. But the sideways antics were survivable, at least. Uh, we're going to try and get a good run. No, not well enough. Off of there. Let's get some more draft cars behind have a better run than I do. We're all catching the leaders. No one's got anywhere to go through here as of yet. We'll just 
go around the outside. <laughs> it's so difficult to make up places. It's not an e It's a very good track to race around. It's just not an easy track to overtake on. And, ah, to have a lift as Stinter gets a little tangled with the cars ahead. We have still got our car alongside at least. We're within, we're within striking distance. But it's just where do you make a pass? Where do you make a pass stick? Can we get down the inside of anybody here? If you do, will it even work for an overtake? I don't know. It's still side by side for the lead. I run very, very wide. Well, I carry a lot of speed through there. Is there going to be a gap on the inside? Oh, <laughs> there was a little gap. Unfortunately, it's made me very slow off the corner. Stinty and Pega. Stinty and Pega clonked together on their own. I just helped them a little bit. Uh, can we go for a smidge of a bump draft on the grey car. It keeps us ahead of oh, the yellow machine, but it's not enough. Still not enough to get us past. We get a huge oversteer moment all on our own there. That doesn't help. I have to have a lift to try to get on the power. Ah, oh. <laughs> We're stuck in sixth and we're really struggling to make our way forward. In Pega and one of the black cars is either Nareth or Liam. Got in trouble there, and I think that might be their day done. In Pega oh no, they're still in it actually. I thought they were going over the barrier, but they've got away with it. Oh, a little bit of lag. When Pega's jittery car it suddenly just appears back on its racing line. Oh yeah, three wide down here. Remember how well that went? I might have some slipstream off the car ahead. Oh, the car on the far inside didn't have any sort of help. Oh, don't get put in the wall. <laughs> we had to muscle that one back against Brazen. We have done so successfully. Grey car and Impega got connected. That will be them done. They're all the out of this one now, I should think, because we've only got one more lap to go here. It's a fantastic track, this one. Really, really good track. This there's, there's overtaking spots, but they're difficult. There's slipstream spots, but it's not quite long enough to be just a really super easy pass. Oh, Brazen is gone as well. Brazen's down, mistake on the final lap, pinged off of a hay bale. Now, there is Blakey behind us. Team Orange is here, ready for a fight. Uh, oh, can we get both of them as they squabble with each other? Don't slow up, get on the stop sticks. Yeah, three wide around here is madness. I will probably run out of road there at some point. Are we going to be stuck? There's nowhere to go. The rest is to the inside through here. I mean, what what option do we have at the moment? There's nowhere to go against these guys, not with me stuck out on the wider line. We're going to duck underneath everybody. Will it give us a good run? No, not good enough. Will we rely on Team Orange helping us slipstream to the finish line? Liam goes across looking for some sort of curb boost. Team Orange on the outside might do it. I can't even do anything. Stinty wins. Five cars across the line. I was the worst of the lot of them. I had nothing. I had nothing I could do in any of that, sadly. Ah, very good race. Very, very good race indeed. Unfortunately for me, was just not quite to be. We'll have to see who gets the fastest lap. I don't think it'll be mine. Uh, we were never quite, I guess we were never quite fully far enough back to have the full benefit of catch up. And we did get some good slipstreaming though going on. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough track. It's a very tough track to overtake in a group because it's so easy to lose a position, two positions as much as it is to overtake the car ahead of you. Very good fun though. Come on, I wanted to see fastest lap. Who got it in the end? It was Scotty with a 57.4 further back. Yeah, not, not a good lap from me. So, we move on to a second round around here. We are going to be using the Sterling GT. You haven't seen this car all that often. Uh, it does have some weird handling quirks. I can't remember what they are, but I do remember it has them, uh, which should be fun. I think it has some weird suspension stuff, but... I think this track is smooth enough that it should be okay. We'll have to wait and see, though. It might do something peculiar, and then we're going to be like, ah, yes, that's why. Uh, that is one thing it does do, as we just saw demonstrated behind us. Uh, they can climb over the back. So you cannot... Oh, four wide is iffy. Uh, bump drafting will not work at all because the cars climb over one another. Uh, the car doing the pushing will climb over and ramp off of the car ahead. So, yeah, that's, that's not going to... Not going to be a good idea. Teamwork is not the order of the day in this one. Oh, bloody hell. I don't think the red car knew I was... I don't quite know how it didn't know I was there, but it was a hell of a hit. Oh, don't get on the hay bales through all of that. Oh, don't end up understeering into the wall through there either. We're on the wide line now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> About to say, the plus point of the wide line is you're slow on the way in, but you do get a good exit. Uh, however... 
everyone fell over each other. So it doesn't really matter. We get a big, big run down here. Have I got anywhere to go with it though? Not really. We've got to kind of lift and coast through turn two there. Uh, we might get up the inside of the red car. That's doing a little bit of its own climbing there. Here we go. That'll put me to second. Oh, it's a huge drive up the hill as well. So far, no weird handling quirks. I think this track is smooth enough for it to get away with it, apart from the climbing over. Uh, we did see a little bit of... Oh, that was a weird <laughs> climbing of the wall. We give the red car some space. I think it just brushed the inside and lost all the momentum. Quickly, run away as best we can. I know there's only so much we can do. I think I'd rather be on the inside down here, possibly. I don't actually know. I guess if you're on the in outside, you'll at least get the right line for the hairpin. But we saw that outside line here can get you quite quickly off the turn, and then you're in the inside for this next corner. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> the downside with being on the outside, even if it's a quick line on the way out of the turn, is you always run the risk of getting spun accidentally, but you still a risk if somebody makes a mistake. You do end up coming off worse normally. So we crossed the line in a fairly similar order to how we started the lap, with the red car, I would imagine, of Nine Tails leading the way, indeed. Uh, now it's about to get busy as we're four wide, three wide, down the back straight. There's paint swapping. Uh, I want to get out of this fight if I at all can. Uh, oh, it's really close behind me. I do not want to be involved in any of that. Uh, and everyone has survived. Amazingly, everyone survived all of that massive, massive mess. Come here, get back in the draft. Follow the Ninetales down towards this next corner. I mean, this is where we were umming and ahhing what line where we wanted to be last time around. Can we make this work on the outside? Uh, we get a little bit of a help from the blue car. Uh, in fact, actually, this time we will. Ninetales is up high. Oh, again, you still get a good run. I thought Ninetales were going to be too far back. I think maybe slightly brushed the hay bales through that one. Uh, <laughs> now we go for the drag race, and it's three wide, and no one has any draft at all. It would be me in third. I would lose that particular battle if... That had been the final lap, but it wasn't. Oh, I actually kind of helped Ninetales a little bit through the corner. <laughs> oh, it was a very, very good run from Stinzy on that outside through turn one. Really, really made some speed there. I'm not going to look around the outside. I would do it if I was on my own, but there's too many cars around me to pull that one off. Ninetales almost takes a very shallow line and backs out of it again. Oh, God, it's a manic race, this one. As I said, it's just it's difficult to overtake. It is really, really difficult to get a pass done cleanly. Oh, that'd be a little bit of a nudge on Stinty there. It's, it's just difficult to complete those these passes. Because you're almost immediately back in trouble again. We will defend the hairpin. Stinty's going to try to go underneath. That's fine. We'll be on the inside again for this final corner. Uh, we will not be able to necessarily stay ahead of Stinty here. Now, this is just the battle to the finish line. No one has any slipstream. If this was the final of the race, I think I would have won it, but it's only just. Oh, I mean, it's it's close. It's going to be a really slow exit there, but someone behind is going to get the slipstream. Someone behind will have the speed to catch us up here. And they will go to the inside, probably, through here. You've got to be careful on that inside line that you don't lose too much momentum. Stinty gave me a help kept me ahead. Just that little surprise, that little bump didn't launch the blue car off the back of mine. That's normally what happens with them. But uh, we got away with it. There's now maybe a three-car breakaway a little bit, actually, at the front. There's a really big gaggle of cars further back. That is not, it's not really the sight you want to see back there, is that huge gaggle of cars. Seems he gets across to defend. Oh, it's going to be three wide on the exit of the hairpin. Ninetales can't make it stick from there, though. All right. Do we have a better run? Ninetales has the best run of all. Ninetales gives us a big whack. I mean, if we can do that on the run to the finish in a couple of laps' time, I'm cool with that. I cannot shut the door on Stinty. Stinty will have the track position. Ninetales this time giving Stinty a help out of the court. Ninetales is currently helping a different car uh, each time out of these turns. Slightly unable to get past. Will get past here. I can't defend that. Not that size of... Uh, Run to the inside. I'm going to be stuck looking the long way around. It might work. Yeah, Ninetales oh, gives us just enough space. Then he's got a little gap. Now that gap will disappear, of course. But it's a little gap for now. We'll be out of trouble. Oh, there goes the red machine. <laughs> I mean, we are swapping positions every single corner at the moment. Oh, 
brush the wall by me. Not very clever. I'm actually quite slow off of the turn there. That's not ideal. But would we be far enough back that a big slipstream run towards the line? I mean, it's almost like that far back would be helpful. I think I might actually be clear of Ninetales as well towards turn one. We would get the victory if that was the last lap. If we do a similar thing here. Now, I'm having to run a little bit wide there. You get quite a good run on the exit if you do that. Where is the red car? That's alongside as well. Uh, we get a run up the hill. Stinty's gone the long way around. No one's, get, no one's yielding now. No one's yielding. There he is. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> See, we were, we're all happy to play nice for, mo for most of the first laps. We're all happy to play nice in the penultimate lap on the most part, but the final lap is where you don't yield out of a three wide because you know you can't afford to. You have to be in the right place at the right time uh, for this. We've got to the right place. We're all in the lead group. All in the lead pack. Oh, and I can't cut underneath. There's just a sea of cars there. I've got nowhere to go. In fact, Scotty might get all of us here. If we aren't careful, that green car might get the best run out of the lot of us. I've climbed over the back of somebody. I'm done. I'm done. Although Ninetales is pinballing. Scotty gets all of us. I thought that might be the danger. Well done, Scotty. Lovely move. Lovely move indeed. I climbed over the back of nine tails. I was just a tiny bit too eager. I thought I was going to get away with it. Scotty gets fastest lap. That will be the final lap of the race, I have no doubt. Actually, I got a little too eager to get on the throttle and just climb the back of nine tails' car. In fact, I should have lifted a little bit, but alas, didn't. And that has ended up with me in fourth. Damn, we lost out twice on the run to the finish line. A brilliant race. Some of the two and three wides we were fitting around that track. We probably shouldn't have been. But doesn't stop it from being it was a very very excellent race so <laughs> there we go thank you about 19 rookies for building uh, such a fantastic circuit of course thank you all very much for watching until next time though a uh, goodbye <laughs>